Hey, so we're doing the A to Z of refurbs and today we're on to G. Uh, we're going to go about gardens and how that can make your investment bloom. <laughs> so uh, the best thing to do when you think about the outside space and your gardens is, is really to nail who's the end user for the strategy that you're employing. So if it's a family uh, in a buy to let, generally you're going to end up with wanting a, a space that they can use. Um, They'll be wanting to entertain friends. They'll probably have some kids that need some outside space to play in. Um, so you can want to make and leave something that's easy to maintain and easy to repair. So nothing too fancy, um, nothing that's going to be high maintenance or need a lot of looking after, a lot of ten tendering, a lot of caring for. If it's a HMO, you're probably looking at something that's really low maintenance. Um, the tenants are unlikely to want to take up some gardening duties and look after a long lawn or prune back bushes and things like that. So you're going to need to then employ a gardener every, I don't know, every three months and then more regularly through the summer when things are growing a little bit, that's another added cost. So the lower maintenance, the better. Uh, and if it's a flip, you're going to want to go with something that's smart, but not too fancy um, because that's an area that the person buying the property will want to have as a kind of a, a blank canvas that they can go and make their own because it'll be a very personalized space. Um, the other couple of things to think about when you've got a garden and uh, you're doing work on it is if it's a terraced house, is there some rear or side access? If it's an end terrace, can you get down the side? Can you put in some off-road parking? Uh, generally that adds value to your property. Um, and if it is kind of you're in a HMO uh, environment and you're doing that kind of thing, we're in a pandemic. The trend has been that people have wanted some outside space. So if there's a house over here that's really nice, uh, but has no outside space, and there's a house over here that's almost the same price and maybe is as nice or maybe not quite so nice, but it's got outside space. At the moment, the trend is people are, are looking for some outside space. So which one are they going to go with? So um, that's kind of a little bit about gardens and just thinking about who the end user is going to be for what you're doing.